In this class, we will start with integration, a very important topic for the examination. And in fact, it is the basic of uh, your higher classes also. If you understand integration well, your next uh, learning of mathematics in future classes will be good for you. Okay? So let's start learning integration right from the basic. Integration. Integration. Uh, I can define integration in a very simple way like this. Integration is the summation. It is the process of summation. Summation of what? Summation of uh, uh, small quantities. You know, summation of small quantities. And these quantities are very large in number. They are very large in numbers. So, integration, if you take the definition of integration, then you can say that integration is the process of adding up of all tiny, tiny quantities, small, small quantities, which are present in very large numbers. Uh, small quantities are also called infinitesimally small. How small are they? They are infinitesimally small, that means very, very small. And these quantities are present in large numbers, <coughs> that's in infinite numbers. So, <coughs> therefore, integration, integration is the process of adding or summing up, adding infinitesimally small infinitesimally small quantities which are which are infinite in number this is the basic you know language definition of the process of integration so it is the process of summation of small quantities, infinitesimally small quantities which are present in large numbers. For example, uh, to understand this, let's take uh, the area enclosed by a curve, say PQ, between the lines O, A and some other two lines like this, B and C. In order to get the total area of OA, B, C, Total area O, A, B, C can be obtained by adding these tiny areas. I will divide this whole area into small intervals. These are all intervals. They are all in fact rectangles now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. I have n number of intervals. So if I add up the area of rectangle 1, rectangle 2, rectangle 3, 4, 5 and all. How small are they? Are? They are infinitesimally small, very very small. How many such rectangles are present? N number of rectangles, infinite number of rectangles are present. What happens when you add up all these rectangles? Then I get total area. That means the area of all these rectangles get integrated. <coughs> they get summed up together. Sorry. So you will get the total area. So remember, integration is a process performed in mathematics. Whenever you have many number of small quantities, if you want to add up their whole number and arrive at the final big value, then you have to integrate them. The process is called as integration. Okay. Another definition of integration is integration is the reverse process reverse process of differentiation. Remember this very very important. This definition will help us to write the integrals of various functions. Integration is the reverse process of differentiation. That is why it is also called as, integration is also called as anti-differentiation. 
anti differentiation we can also call integration by the name as anti differentiation integration is the reverse process of differentiation what is the meaning of this in differential calculus we will be given with a function f of x f of x is the given function and this function you will differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x and when you differentiate f of x then you get its differential coefficient the differential coefficient of f of x is f dash of x so this is the dc of the function or the differential coefficient of f of x now till this part we are in differential calculus now coming back to get f of x what you need to do is you integrate integrate with respect to x integrate what integrate f dash of x with respect to x then what do you get you will get back f of x very simple let's consider the function sin x f of x is sin x differentiating with respect to x we get cos x that is f dash of x now integrate cos x with respect to x integrate cos x with respect to x you will get back sin x so this right, right side portion is the differential calculus which we have already learnt and the left side portion is the integral calculus that we are going to learn so remember the process of integration is the reverse of differentiation integration is the reverse process of differentiation ok that's fine and now we will understand the next concept that is about the constant of integration constant of integration we will understand about this in our next video Okay?